I often contemplate the notion if we need contrast to enjoy beauty. Do we need polarity in life to really appreciate things? Do we need the hard times to really value the beautiful times? For me in my life, absolutely. You know, the value of skiing for me when I first started was, and in, in a big way still is, it's an opportunity for me to express myself freely without using words, you know, how I, I feel is expressed through how I choose my line coming down the mountain. I didn't have a chance to experience skiing until I was a teenager, but right away, as soon as I did, it, it caught fire and it's all I wanted to do and it's all I've really focused on in the last 20 years. The evolution of the sit ski has been something that's been a part of my entire ski career, which is pushing 12 years right now in the sit ski. And when I entered the sport, I had just this massive imagination of what was possible on the snow, and then realized right away technology was a limiting factor. And luckily with the ski team, I was interjected into an R&D project that lasted about five years of my racing career and we had tons of resources to build what you see today. And the technology is better than the rider. The machine, we're looking at probably the third incarnation in the last handful of years. And if I have anything to do with it, I'd love to see a couple more, which will basically make the sport easier for people to enter, more enjoyable and more safer. We've got to get some paper and then we can start writing that down. Dad. Yeah. Dad. <gasps> you my name? What's this? Cool card, that's your name. Love, Nova. Busy as family right now, and with two little kids at home, my wife and I are just trying to get our heads wrapped around a three-year-old and a newborn, so we're fully engaged with that. In terms of professional, writing a book and putting energy into a foundation to, again, bring sport to the masses, to make something that's been so impactful to me accessible to other people and shine a light on what's available in the Okanagan Valley right now. And that's how I got into sport, was somebody who was just stoked to share his passion. And my life was forever changed because of that man. And I'd like to be there and be available for other people when they're going through transition and share the magic and share the beauty of the outdoors and sport. I often <laughs> come into my man cave and it, I, I like to think of it as my imagination station and where I come out here and I, look at the different pieces of equipment that I'm fortunate enough to have and the places that it's taken me and more importantly the places that I imagine and dream about going to and exploring. And we live, we live in the golden age of disability. Um, this type of equipment may not have existed that long ago and as a young person with a mobility impairment, uh, I have an opportunity to basically explore undiscovered territory. And I say that lightly because Clearly a lot of the areas that I go have been explored and in fact there might even be a pathway to them. But for a person with a disability it is new ground and that's fun. There's something about nature. There's something about immersing yourself in the outdoors. I love being home and reconnecting with everybody that has elevated me inspired me and I think they might even say the same right they might be like well hey he's done great and he's been an inspiration and and that is and I, I say that lightly but that's such a beautiful synergy to have with the community where you both feel such a positive effect from one another and I love being home. <laughs> <laughs>